For disassembling, laser cutting and other digital uh, production methods, you always need uh, planar surfaces like, uh, like in this box. But sometimes you don't have a planar surface like here. For example, this one uh, is a twisted box and we have a look at this polygon and we just see that this is one polygon and it's just not planar. And you can just see that uh, there is um, a fold inside and in this fold there is no edge. And so the big question is, how can you deal with these objects to make them, uh, to prepare them for a proper uh, disassembling and prepare them for laser cutting? And this is what we will have a look at the following video. Of course, just on edit, uh, the edit poly level, you can just use the cut function. And if you have your snap function on a vertex point, you can just um, cut this polygon. And um, But that's a lot of work, uh, especially uh, if you have complex models. So we always have to watch out for um, non-planar surfaces. And so there is a much better way of dealing with this problem. OK, I just isolate this box. and. Uh, more interesting is that uh, you actually um, uh, want to triangulate this polygon and uh, if you think about this uh, it's interesting that a polygon can uh, consist of uh, much more than three vertex points and if you think about edit mesh then you are closer to this triangulation and there's one really nice trick you just add an edit mesh modifier on top and if you go into the edge mode and select all edges with string A, then you can see that uh, there are just hidden edges. Uh, these are the ones with these um, uh, dotted lines and there are these edges with uh, the straight lines. And there's uh, one function in uh, edit mesh uh, which is based on um, uh, triangles, it's in the surface properties. You have to uh, set and clear edges visible and you can define the angle uh, where things become, uh, edges become visible. And if you just go into 0 0.1 degrees or probably just say for laser cutting, I just want to uh, have an edge with every surface which is uh, non-planar and uh, you uh, just say non-planar defines uh, more than uh, uh, one degrees, you can go into the button outer edge and you can just see that there is uh, just uh, a new edge uh, at this uh, at the surface, also on the other side and if you just add an edit poly now on top then you can see this is uh, perfect, uh, perfectly done we have new edges we have new edges at the polygons which are actually non-planar and if I switch uh, off edit mesh you can just see that this is just uh, added and uh, it completely it doesn't matter how complex your model is it will always work and you can define or if there's any uh, tolerance in your planarity which you actually accept. 